We have an uh, experimental farm near the town Rautor in Greenland. And we have a uh, garden, experimental garden. We are growing different sorts to see what it is best uh, to grow in Greenland. This is uh, tomatoes and cucumber and uh, some hot pepper, different kinds of summer flowers. The outside they are growing different kinds of vegetables like uh, garbage, lettuce and uh, potatoes. You could say that the climate of southern Greenland is kind of an oasis. It's quite close to what you will find in most of Iceland and northern Norway. This is a typical border zone for, for agriculture towards the Arctic. Growing season starts the middle of May to end of uh, August or beginning of September. It's warmer now compared to 20, 30 years ago. And we have seen that for the last 15, 20 years, that the growing season has increased by around three weeks. This year we have had a very early spring. The spring was in April. I planted the potatoes 14th of May, and that's more than 10 days earlier than normal. But last year we didn't have any spring, only winter. Until the summer comes about uh, 20th June. We had a short growing season and a dry growing season. It couldn't be worse. Many of the farmers told me it's a bad year, but it's not that bad. There is a wish from the politicians that Greenland will be able to support more its own food production. That's part of becoming more self-sustainable. Fresh vegetables, most of the year it has to be imported and that's extremely expensive. So if we could get much more local production, then that would be a, a big benefit for the community. Except for building a greenhouse, we cannot do so much about the temperature. We can do something about the lack of precipitation, but not much we can, can be done about the temperature. We hope we can grow crops and vegetables longer and by using greenhouses then we can make growing season longer, start earlier and stop later in the summer. Now uh, more and more people are trying to leave off uh, growing vegetables. It's exciting.